Hi. Uh, I'm Jack. I'm from Blackstone Valley Tech. This is my friend Maria. Are you guys from Blackstone Valley? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this was our project that we made. So it's a heat pump system. Nice. So it uh, heats and cools your house. Oh. So right now, um, it's on summer mode, so right. the indoor coil is blowing cold air, right. yep. and the uh, outdoor coil is blowing hotter air. Right. And we wired it and piped it in a specific way, that when we flip this switch, it'll switch them. So that way the indoor coil starts blowing hot air, right. and the outdoor coil will start blowing cold air. So what's different about ours than a normal econ system is yeah. the reversing valve in the yeah. middle. So since it's such a smaller scale, yeah. we um, the reversing valve requires a lot of pressure and okay. we can't do that with this. So what we did was use four solenoid valves instead. Right. So like two are open right now allowing the flow to go so it's um, cooling and then it'll switch. Like other two will be open and then we switch to the other kind of like a climate control type thing. Right. Yeah. This is from electrical, and the one down is from carpentry. Awesome, thank you. So, we're from BVT, we're with National Grid, and so this is our little project about electricity. So this is the power right here, it turns on all of them. As you can see, this is 2700, and when they're all in 2700, you can see the difference in light. This one is a CFU, this one is a uh, fluorescent, and this one is an LED. You can see the difference, and on the top you can read the cost difference also. Yep. With fluorescent and this one, they're both mercury related. Right. But with the LED, there is no mercury in it. Ah, and some okay. people do like the difference in that. So, so is one more environmentally sound, would you say, or you know, better for our, our footprint, well, you think? Basically, the LED, uh, national grid, the less electricity they have to make, the better. And because it uses the less wattage per light bulb, I would say the LED is probably the best way to go. And also with fluorescent, it's kind of hard to dispose of them just because of the mercury inside of them. And there's hard ways to, you know, know how to dispose of it exactly. So definitely with LED, it's easier. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm from Blackson Valley Tech. Excellent. I'm Adele from Blackson Valley Tech. Excellent. Uh, this is showing the effect of insulation has on a home's energy efficiency. The first home here doesn't have any insulation, which means it has a very low R value, which allows the heat to escape very quickly. All the heat's coming off the top, right? Yes. Okay. This one right here is made out of fiberglass, which means that it is, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It has a medium R value, which right. contains the heat, but some will still escape through crevices in the walls and such. Got it. This is foam, which is the most energy efficient, and overall it is the most costly to install, but overall it will save you on cost uh, okay. for the long run. All right, excellent. So this is the best one to have, the foam. Is it popular, would you say, or do you know which one's used the most? This one is mostly used the most, but if you're trying to save on uh, cost, yeah. this is the way to go. And you guys built all these structures yourselves? Yes, yeah, we That's scaled it down. Cool. 